Hey, sleep warrior. Do you have questions about sleep apnea or CPAP therapy that you want answered by a specialist? Well, now you can. I'm excited to introduce a new monthly Q&A session with me, Dr. Kimberly, a neurologist, CPAP expert, and educator, and Kenny, an experienced sleep technologist and CPAP user for nearly 20 years. Here's how it works. Simply enter your questions on the form on our website or at the link below, and we'll compile them into an extended Sleep Bite video each month. This way, you'll get the information you need directly from a trusted source. Plus, by participating, you'll also receive my weekly sleep tips delivered directly to your email. So what are you waiting for? Submit your questions today. Are you ready for a sample? Can sleep apnea kill you? So a lot of people want to know, can I die in my sleep from sleep apnea? And, you know, generally sleep apnea does not kill people. So it is a problem where you stop breathing during the night, as you know, and your oxygen level starts to drop. But fortunately, we have built-in systems in our brain that wake us up when our oxygen gets to a certain point. And when sleep apnea, when you're first starting out with sleep apnea, it usually doesn't have to drop very far before your brain's like, hey, wake up, something's going on. And you wake up and then you start breathing normally again and you fall asleep and it might happen again, but you do have those internal checks. Over time, because your brain really needs sleep, you tend, your oxygen level can drop lower and lower before it triggers the alarm bells to wake you up to breathe again. And as those numbers get really low, you know, and I, it's different for different people based on how healthy they are otherwise, and if they have heart disease, etc. cetera. Um, but you may get very low where it causes your heart to have be unstable and um, beat erratically. And so there is some, there is, it's possible that, you know, untreated, you know, relatively severe sleep apnea could trigger a secondary heart event. Uh, and that has been proposed. It's very unusual that that's like, I'm not aware of any cases actually where that's happened during the night in a sleep lab in a monitored setting such that we could say, oh yeah, this is, this sleep apnea is clearly what killed this person. Um, when people die in their sleep, usually it's from a heart attack and whether or not that heart attack was um, because of an unstable rhythm from a really long awful apnea event, um, it's really hard to say, but overall it's very rare that people would die in their sleep from sleep apnea.